Greetings viewers, Banner Flash here to save you from another day of boredom with a 3D printing video. Now, what I actually want to do is a lot of people, well, I don't think a lot, but two people that I have now seen do videos on how to make a Beyblade layer in Tinkercad. That would be Chad Files, I believe that's his name, forgive me if I'm wrong, and my friend, the Slash 5, actually. And congratulations to him for getting a lot of views on that. 43 or some 43k views or something. Impressive. Either way, I originally also wanted to do this, but after seeing but I did watch Chad Files video on how to make a 3D printed layer in Tinkercad, and he pretty much went over everything that I wanted to go over except for the aligning part. That I don't usually do. I just use the arrow keys to just shift it into a proper position or use this snap grid setting right here to change how much I want it to move. Either way, um, what I'm going to actually do for you guys is show you how to make a reversible 3D printed disc. So you know how, like on Naked Spriggan, it has a disc called Paradox, which is a reversible disc that can be changed that is very similar to Hell Curb X's boost disc. Anyways, I'm going to start by using this little thing right here. So I'm just going to center that in the very middle of this. And because of my OCD, I'm going to make sure that this is perfectly in line. So the way I am going to do this is, um, so what I want to do first is actually, this is supposed to be a disc that holds a frame, but we're going to get rid of that because that won't be necessary. So what I am going to do is actually use this tube tool to, this tube shape to actually and completely enclose this. So let's make that nice and center, increase the number of sides because it makes it rounder. And then we are going to increase the size of the tube so that it properly fits around this. There we go. Now it's nice and even. And once when you have that, we're going to leave it at the thickness that it is at and just group this together so that it is nice, so that it is one nice solid piece. After that, you're going to want to get a second tube. This is actually going to be for the part that will be reversible. So what you want to do is actually make it so that it, so that the inside is the exact same size or just about half a millimeter bigger all around on all sides. So we're going to make this, so we're going to set this right around here. I'm gonna increase the snap grid a little bit and then increase it all around. Drop this down, and I'm going to have to go back to 0.5 millimeters, because I forgot about that. You actually don't have to have it... I actually, there is something that I did learn about this. The way this works, actually, I'm going to have to want... I'm going to want to actually have this at 6 millimeters, a little bit of exposure, so that the disc is not completely rubbing up against the main layer which will cause for interference, which is not legal in the game. Although 3D printed bays in the game are also not legal, so uh, yeah. Anyways, once when I finish with this, I'll also post it on Thingiverse so that you guys can use it if you want to make your own reversible disc. I've made two for myself so far. They're called Roulette and Shielding. And 
They're both available on Tinkercad. I think shielding is actually available in two different sizes, I believe. So, uh, depending on what size you want, you can just look for the files. Let's see. Alright, so we still got that much left, but I think I'm just going to make it so that we have less circle. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, that looks that looks great actually. Perfect. So let's increase the size of this to the exact size excuse me. Of the ring around here. We're not going to put it up here because then it would start rubbing against the layer. And we don't really want that. Alright, so for now we're going to move that to the side. That will be the template for the outside ring that is the reversal part. So we'll just leave it right there. Next we're going to actually make the locking mechanism that will determine which setting you have it in. I'm going to do that in another video because I fear I am going past my time limit and well I'm just going to continue with another video. So I'll see you guys in a flash.